So in the last episode, we were able to create an endpoint to handle put requests. And in this episode, I want us to create another endpoint to handle patch requests. So both put and patch are used to uh, edit documents. But what is the difference between put and patch? So with put, we usually replace uh, the body of our document with a complete new version. So we include all uh, the data here and when we submit that we replace the existing document with our new data and when we omit some of these properties you'll see that we get null for that particular property for example in this request we omitted a UID and uh, when we submitted it we got a response of UID as null so at the body of the request, we should include all the properties that represent our document. Okay, someone asked me why I didn't include a UID in the body of the request. And the reason is currently we don't have a user, but when we work with our front end and add authentication, we'll be able to add a UID to the body of the request. Now with patch, we can edit just a uh, a particular property and that is what we are going to do we are not replacing the whole body of our document we are going to just replace a, a certain property you can replace all of them if you want but in this case we are just going to replace one and the endpoint that we are going to create is for marking a to do as done or not done so the property that we'll be editing is this particular property now when we performed this request uh, there was an error that was popping on our a command prompt here and uh, it is a duplication warning and it's complaining that find one and update and find one and delete without uh, the use of use find and modify set to false are duplicated so to get rid of this duplication warning we should add this option use find and modify when connecting to mongodb so when i come back to my code and go to index.js scroll at the bottom here we should add this option just right here and we should set this to false now when we send requests we should not get that duplication warning now let's go to our todos.js file and we create another endpoint just after put and we'll create it here using our router and this time we are creating an endpoint to handle patch requests the first parameter is a path and we should include an id to this path and then the second parameter is a callback function which is async it have access to request and response and we can update our document in here so the first thing that we will do is to check whether a to do exists or not so right here i'll come and reuse this code uh, where we were finding a to do by id and also using an if statement to check whether it exists or not so i'll copy that and then come to our patch and paste it here and we should also do the same for our delete before deleting a to do we should check whether it exists or not and then uh, if it doesn't exist we send a 404 error uh, to the client so in our router.delete i'll also be that code right here okay now let's come back to our router.patch if our to do exists we want to update it okay so right here we'll still use find uh, by id and update so we use our model to do dot find by id and update and then we invoke this method the first parameter is the id of the document that we want to update so we use request uh, dot params 
dot id so that is the id and then the second parameter is an object here and the body of this object should contain the property that we want to edit and this endpoint is for marking a to do as done or not so we will target the is complete property and what we are getting here is the to do that we want to edit so we have access to that particular to do right here and we can also target the is complete property on this particular to do just like this so we can say to do dot is complete and then we want to every time we send a request to this endpoint we want to change this property from true to false or from false to true so that is checking and unchecking uh, that particular to do so right here at the front of this we should use an exclamation mark so this means that we set the is complete to be the opposite of to do dot is complete so if to do dot is complete here is true our uh, is complete will now be false if this one is false this will be true so this is what uh, this line of code does and what we get after performing this request is our updated to do so we should await this and then store the result on a constant and now we can send our updated to do to the client so we can say uh, rest.send updated to do since this is an asynchronous call we should wrap it in a try and catch block so that we can catch any errors okay so right here i'll use try and i move this code inside the try block and then in case of an error we will catch it right here so i'll copy this code where we were catching an error and i can paste it here when i save the prettier extension will auto format the code so let's do a quick recap right here we are checking whether a to do exists or not if it exists we use to do dot find by id and update to update the to do the first parameter is the id of the to do that we want to update and then here we set the property that we are updating and uh, after we get our updated to do we send it to the client if there is an error in this process we call a catch method here we have access to the error object and we can send that error message to the client or log it to the console now we can test this endpoint using postman so i'll come back to postman so right here i'll open a new tab and then select patch and i want this uh, path right here so i'll copy this path come back to patch here and paste it here so we have the id of our to do so i want the body here to be empty and we won't include any uh, json object at our body so when i come back here to put what we want to edit is this particular property is complete so when we send our patch request here this is complete should uh, come back as true so i'll come back to the patch here and send this request okay and there we go now we get our feedback where is complete is true and this is the only property that was edited and if i send this request again now is complete is false so it's like we are checking and unchecking this particular property and this is so because we only included this property right here it's the only thing that we are editing so that's it for this video and in the next video we'll start talking about authentication and how we can start creating endpoints to handle assigning and sign up